I remembered one thing, and it was one of my senior instructors used to always say this, if you get them, you have to trust the process. You have to trust the process. So guess what? I took a step back, took a deep breath, I reoriented myself, and we successfully completed that mission. And there's a lesson in this, guys. You have to treat business like it's a mission. All right, all right, guys. What's going on? Get them here at CEO of ATMTogether.com. Welcome to another weekly live. And thank you for actually joining because man, I try to bring it for these because at the end of the day, this is the only thing I look forward to week by week. So as you can tell, we're still figuring things out. You're going to see like the uh, the training stuff on the background. It's, it's getting crazy over here. There's boxes and boxes and boxes. So we're trying to come up with a theme for the actual office for training because we're going to start having some in-person training. So comment below some of the subjects you want to learn, whether it's with ATMs, BTMs, merchant services, vending machines, uh, entrepreneurship. I, mean, I can keep going, guys. But just comment below maybe the topic that you want to learn because what we're going to do is create a training plan. That way we can have in-person training events over here, guys, right? Let me get right into the lessons, guys. Let's get into what we're going to be going over today, guys. Right? So it's $3,000 a month possible with BTMs. All right. So, man, I, I love this part. This is, uh, when you talk about sales and marketing, this is probably like one of my favorite parts of a business. And I didn't even come for this. I was a street blue collar guys. Literally, I was blue collar, literally wore a blue collar. I still have, I always have a picture, right? Literally, I'm telling you, blue collar guys. So if I can do it, guys, I keep bringing this up. I'm not the smartest, but you can do it. So the next lesson, extremely important. A question we always get is like, can, can BTMs even be profitable? So what I like to say is this, it depends. But before we even get into this, I got a question. If you could, how much a month would you make from your business? Forget the BTM business, forget AT, forget all that. Just from a business, how much a month would you make? Comment the number below. I'll give you guys a second while I get a little water to get ready for this lesson. Comment the number below, the monthly amount. For me, my number in my head was $15,000 a month. I'm from California, things are expensive. San Francisco, seven dollar lots, right? Right, let's see the numbers. Okay. So here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. This comes down to belief. I know you're probably like belief. It's about to go into like a religious sermon. No, guys, don't worry. This comes down to belief, right? The reason why is that number is the amount where your certainty, your certainty is determined in yourself. Right here, guys. Here's the reason why. You must have confidence. You have to have certainty in yourself before you take action. Think of it like this. When it comes down to a certainty scale, it's not like it's not binary. It's not yes or no. It's not chocolate or vanilla. It's more like how far in between. Think of it as a glass. Think of it as like this water bottle, right? This water bottle is like three quarters full. The certainty for you to take action has to be the water going over. And that's that number you commented below, guys. So write that down. Write that number down. That is your goal. That is your goal. That is the goal that you need to take action on, whatever it is. Whether it's a landscaping business, moving business, jump removal, it doesn't matter. That is the number you need to know in your head. You say, if I hit that number, I will do what I say I'm going to do. All right. Now, $3,000 a month, is it possible? Yes or no? Well, let me tell you guys a story. Let me tell you guys a story about young ghetto in the military, right? Man, I feel like I'm like a World War II guy sometimes when I'm saying this, right? If you're in the military, you laugh, you know, like all the stories are always coming. So, I'm an infantry unit. And in infantry, guys, when you're training, there's no GPS. Right now, I get lost. I don't have Google Maps. I'm going to be realistic. In Miami, I'm just like, where's the water? <laughs> but 
back then, man, I was sharp. And I say back then, it was like it was a long time. But I don't know what it is, guys. So you don't have GPS. You got compass. How many of you even use the compass? I did it before the military. I was like, the compass? This is like old school technology, but they teach you for a reason, guys. Man, I was lost. I was with an entire patrol squad. Multiple guys. These are some buff, man, these are some, some special dudes. And I was leading these guys, and I was lost. And I think, picture this, guys. We're in the jungle. This was actually in Hawaii for training. I'm like this. I'm like, I think north is that way. <laughs> so I was lost, completely embarrassed. We're on a mission, guys. And I'm wondering to myself, like, what did these guys going to think of me? And I didn't want to tell them because we're slowing down. And you do, you know, back checks for, like, look in, stop, check the rear, you know. And I'm like, man, I don't know where I'm going. And then I remembered one thing. I remembered one thing. And it was one of my senior instructors he used to always say this. He said, get him. You have to trust the process. You have to trust the process. So guess what? I took a step back. I took a deep breath. I reoriented myself. And we successfully completed that mission. And there's a lesson in this, guys. You have to treat business like it's a mission. You have to. Day in, day out, there may be a long time until you don't see results. I waited years. Ask yourself, how many years, how much time did Apple wait, founder, before they became the most valuable company? What about Amazon? What about Google? How much time did they wait from start to finish? And then you have to ask yourself this. How much delayed gratification are you willing to accept? How much delay from the effort you put in to the outsized returns, the rewards are you willing to accept? Because the longer, the more this becomes. That's just how it is in business. Well, in business, guys, think of it this way. It's all about influencing variables. And I know that I'm going I'm to break this down. Think of it as an onion, guys. I'm going to peel this back. Right? It's influencing variables. Think of it as like a water treatment facility. So there's different variables. Like you're trying to make sure the water flows correctly. So maybe you need to open up one pipe and then you shut off another one. Or maybe you need to open both up or flow both down. Maybe you need to decrease the back pressure. All these different things. But these are different variables for that outcome. It's the same thing in business. It's a game, guys. It's just a game. I know it may seem confusing. I know it may seem like, man, I just need some clarity. I need some direction. I get it. It's okay. I was in the exact same spot for years. I'm talking about years, guys. Until finally, I was just like, wow, just woke up. I'm like, that's it? I can do anything. And I guarantee you will get to the same spot, guys. Right? So the way to profit the most in the BTM business, guys, is the same way. It's a game. It's variables. But I have a question for you. What variable do you think is the most important. Comment below. Comment below. When it comes down to success for your BTM business, what do you think is the most important variable? Right? I gave you some, I gave you some hints in the last lesson. So if you just tuned in, you might have missed out. It's okay. Right? Well, comment below. I just want to get your thoughts. Right? There's no wrong answer, guys. You just have to learn. Right? You got to put yourself out there. All right. Okay. So it's going to be marketing, guys. Marketing. And don't think of marketing like in the traditional sense, guys. We're going to talk about it. It's marketing. And this is stuff we've learned from hundreds of machines, guys, from years in the business. I'm telling you right now, this is information that's not out there. Google it. Google what makes a BTM successful. There's no information out there. We're the only ones for us. Right? So, marketing. Now, there's two different avenues. Think about two different paths you want to focus on in terms of marketing. Write this down or comment below. That way you get a notification on the back end of your room. The first one is going to be physical. The second one is going to be digital. Now, we're going to focus on the physical first, right? So comment it below. So, so you don't forget, comment physical below, just so you know. So physical marketing, guys, the way you want to look at it is like this. Can you see the machine, right? What you don't want a machine is to be like this, like, like it hit it. Like, no one's going to find it. They're like, come on. Like, so he walks into the store and they're just like, where is this thing? Like, 
I saw it on the map, but it's not here. Don't be like get in the box trying to find the, the direction. You want it to scan it out. So there's different factors, right? So a few different factors that we focus on. These are secrets, guys. These are industry secrets, but we're telling you this right now so you can be successful. Placement of the machine, where it's at in the location. Is it hidden in the closet behind the bathroom? Well, hey, you probably have some problems. Or is it closer to the front? Or maybe even closer to the side? Or in an accessible area that people would likely go? What color is the machine? Is it purple? Is it black? Is it covered with a blanket? These are different things because you want people to be able to see the machine. Is it brightly covered? Is there anything in the store that draws attention to it? Maybe it's the wrap of the machine. It's colorful with the writing. So like, oh man, what's this thing? I want to read it. Or maybe it's a screen on top. It has advertisements. Or maybe it's an LED projector or a rug that leads to it. These are all different things you want to think of. So that's inside the store. So man, you're probably thinking, there's a lot of factors here. Yes, that's why we have twice a week meetings for marketing. That's how important it is to make sure the machines are successful. So that's inside the store, on the physical side. On the outside, that's a whole nother game. There's all these different things you can do. There's direct mailers. You mail those postcards yet? You can mail it to the machine, people around the machine. That's right there. You can put flyers on top of cars that are parked there so they see it, they come back next time. Because they're obviously local to the area. You can put yard signs, you can put banners, you can put LED signs, you can put one of those dancing gorillas where they're just like this all day, you know, like the dealerships. You can do everything. But when it comes down to it, guys, this is a controllable variable that you can control to increase the success at your machine. That's the physical side. Now let's talk about digital. Man, digital is crazy, guys. So how many of you guys, right? How many of you guys have said something out loud? And you thought you thought it, you said it, and all of a sudden you're scrolling through social media or you're on the internet and you're like, standing desk, how would you know? You're like, and then you do this. You're like, eh, I don't trust you anymore. What's going on? Digital marketing is one of the most important things in this area. This is artificial intelligence all this digital marketing guys. Those who can do it do very well. Think about it. Why do you think we put an Apple phone in basically everyone's hand? A lot of it came down to marketing. Yeah, the, the phone's cool and all that, but when it comes down to it, Early days, it was marketing behind it. You guys probably remember, there's some cool commercials. So digital marketing dramatically can affect your machine. Right? So you're probably like, well, well, what can I do about this? Well, there's different things. There's advertising. A lot of the things that we've seen, you can use different things like Google, YouTube, internet advertising. So think of like, you know when you go on a website and you get that advertisement? Maybe you're reading an article, you're scrolling through, and you're like, let's get to the best part. And then it's like, hey, you. You do things like that to draw attention to. It. In addition to that, there's other specific websites. Did you know? Did you know? I can't, I can't say the agency. But did you know that you can buy taxpayer information? Yes. When you file your taxes, there are companies that sell your information. They just... They peel it. And they say, this is Joe, Joe Smo, who makes a certain amount a year. He lives in this area. He has a family. This is the address he used. And these are the accounts. Yes, you can do that. That's how crazy Big Brother's watching right now. So there's websites you can do like that, where now it's more targeted towards certain people that you know are going to use machines. In addition to that, there's other things you do. There's Facebook advertising. There's, you know, how many of you guys have been to a, uh, I've been in like a Lyft or Google. Google. How many guys have been in a Lyft or an Uber where you're just like, you see that screen and it's giving you advertising? I think it's called like Oculus or something. That's another form of advertising. There's MapQuest, there's Yelp, there's all these different things. So you're probably like, man, get them. Which one do I choose? Which is a really good question, right? Pay attention. So when it comes down to it, you need to track where people come from in your machine. It's what you call lead source track. So when they come to use your machine, you want someone to talk to them or you want some type of questionnaire that says, where did you find me? How did you find out the machine was like running over here? How did you find out? Think about it. 
Because if you don't know where people are coming from, where are you going to spend your money? Think about all those options I said. On the digital side, now there's the physical side. Expenses can dramatically increase. So what we do, I'm telling you guys right now, the secret we do, we track every single customer that uses their machine, and we make sure we find out where they came from. Every single one. Text messages, we have customer support, remember that? Customer support, talking to them and saying, hey, by the way, where'd you find us? Google, YouTube, Facebook ad, internet. I found you here. I found you. My buddy told me about it. I saw it in past. We track that. And guess what we do? Which is another variable. Remember those controllable variables to make your machine successful? We reallocate the money we're going to spend on marketing for the machine onto those aspects. And that's how you have the most performing BTMs, guys. Right? So I want you to do a little quick recap. Comment this below so you remember. There are two avenues to profit for a BTM. I know this is data heavy. That's why you're going to have to watch the replay, guys. I'd like to make this quick. Right? Number one is going to be physical market or physical awareness, as I call it. Number two is going to be digital market. All right? Those are the most important factors when it comes down to profitability of machines. So you actually have those machines that we show that are making three, five, ten, four thousand dollars a month. And it comes down to time and the place and the marketing behind those machines, guys. All right. So with that being said, guys, I got a question. I like to ask this after every lesson. How many of you guys like that list? Like about you know strategy, mindset, you know, mission oriented. I want you to comment grow below. Comment grow. If you're interested in that lesson, we're actually tallying this on the back end. Depending on what you like, that will be, like I said, will be what we provide in the future to provide you with the most value. Right? And if it's too technical, you're like, hey, you know, I'm showing funny stories. It's okay. That's okay. I like that too. Right? And I still like that. Or if you want like very like encyclopedia, let me know. We can make that happen too, guys. Right? So let me get into this last lesson, guys. Man, this is probably this is going to be an important lesson, right? So let me um, see if I can share my screen here.